Hi guys, this is Sri. Uh, so today I'm going to explain about the uh, extra backup, uh, how to restore the single table from the uh, complete extra backup. Okay, uh, this is the part two video of the extra backup series. Uh, the first part is uh, I already uh, explained how to install the extra backup and how it is working. And I also given the demo to take the full backup and how and about the restore process okay i had the comments uh like uh, to explain how to do this actually how to restore the single table from the complete extra backup so oh, i was interested to interested to do this uh video okay uh, <clears throat> so oh, there is uh the steps we need to remember uh, we need to prepare the backup with the export option okay so let's go to the demonstration so during the demonstration i will explain the thing so that would be helpful to understand the scenario okay uh as usual i have one mysql service and i have the mysql 8.0.26 it is a perpona server okay i already extra installed the extra backup uh my extra backup version is uh 8.0.26 okay uh, so with schema wise, I have a class one. In that database, I have two tables. Okay, uh, so these are the three tables I have. So here, help the table name help. Uh, select star from help. I have ten records. Okay. Uh, let's divide device the scenario. Uh, so what I'm going to do, do is in this video, first uh, first step, I'm going to perform the backup, perform full backup. Then uh, I am going to delete the delete some records from helpless one dot help table okay then i am going to going to restore plus one dot help table from the back okay so this is the scenario of this video okay this is the scenario uh now let's go go to the demo okay uh just uh, let me perform the backup first. Um, I'm just creating the directory temp backup fifth February. Okay, and I already created the backup users things. Uh, I'm going to perform the backup hyphen hyphen backup, and my username is backup, and my password is backup at three to one and my target directory is this one okay um i'm creating the full backup now this is the first step uh it's happening now uh i would recommend to go my part one video if you want to know how the extra backup works and how to uh, I, I that would be helpful if you go to the part one uh, to understand this better. Okay. So here my backup is completed. And you can see, yeah, backup backup is fine. Okay, backup is completed. Now, now I have the backup. Okay, now let's come to the scenario like uh, I am explaining here by manually deleting the table, these things, okay. But in uh, comparing your production scenario or your works, uh, there might be something happens accidentally, someone deleted some records or someone maybe dropped the table, maybe something happens, right? Uh, so in that case, you can compare this situation to your production scenario. Uh, in that kind of situation, just how to recover the table from the Full backup. That can that situation uh, maybe your production data is huge, right? So you cannot restore the entire database, and you can dump uh, dump the table and restore. That is quite big process, right? So 
you should be aware how to restore that single table from the backup okay so now yeah uh, let's uh, i'm now what i am going to do i am going to delete entire record in this table okay uh, i already have the backup for this table delete from here yeah i just deleted all this table all the all the all the all the record from this table now i don't have nothing uh, my table is empty okay her table is empty uh, now i will show you how to restore the her table from the backup okay so here usually uh, before the restore uh, 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 you need to prepare the backup with the hyphen hyphen prepare option but if you want to restore some particular table uh some individual table then you need to prepare using this option hyphen hyphen export okay uh when you are preparing the backup using the export option it will create the files which are needed to uh, import the specific tables okay it will create the uh, record files okay uh so let me show you how to prepare my backup now i am going to prepare my backup with the export option extra backup hyphen hyphen prepare hyphen hyphen export uh, uh, before that uh, let me go to the directory that database directory and here you can see the ibd files for each and every table ja.ibd uh, this is the schema file and the help.ibd and is it is it is it dot ibd now i am going to prepare using the export option let let's see prepare hyphen hyphen export and target directory is this one okay i'm just going to run this command yeah uh, so now it is completed uh completed okay uh, at the end of the uh, command you can see this completed okay now we'll list the file i'm going to list the files now if you see this directory uh before the export i mean before the preparation with the export option i see only aa.ibd and dbop file and help.ibd and is it is it ibd only the ibd files the table space files only okay before the prepare but now uh, after the prepare with the export options now i can see some additional files for each and each in every table i have the additional one file with the cfg extension okay dot cfg extension okay so what is this cfg file okay uh, this is used to do the schema validation uh, during the restore process uh, so you need this uh, file to the import even you can do the import without this file but uh, you will get some one i will show it how how, how it is happening now uh, let's say uh, we done with the preparation now okay the next step is i already I'll, oh, oh, one second show tables and select start from hack okay this table is empty but i am just checking my data directory okay varlib mysql is my data directory i am just going to that directory listing the file and hercules schema directory here i have the ibd okay uh, still i have the table space uh, file in the data directory that is backup directory this is the data directory mysql data directory under the mysql data directory i have the hercules.ibd still okay i just only remove the records using the delete uh, query Uh, but i uh, still my i have the ibd file okay now i am not going to start the uh, mysql server nothing i am going to do but i need to just restore restore the only this help table from the backup okay so for that i need to remove this ibd file first because we, i need to restore the ibd file from the backup okay uh, uh, this is the backup file this help.cfg and help.ibd under the backup backup directory i have this uh ibd and cfg file uh, this ibd file table data file how the record that 10 rows okay the backup have the records but this under the data directory i don't this ibd don't have the records okay so what what is my plan is 
I need to remove this IBD file under the data directory and I need to copy or move the IBD file, hep.ibd file from the uh, backup to MySQL data directory, then I need to uh, check whether it is working or not. But simply you cannot do this using the Linux commands like or removing the file and the CPR some to here, you cannot, it will not work in the MySQL, okay? Because your MySQL is already running and you need to update some metadata from the system table space, okay? So in the, for that kind of situation, it will not work uh, with the Linux. Uh, here you have two options to do that, okay? You need to alter the table. First, you need to discard the table space. Alter table, uh, your table name that help, help, then discard table space. What Once you executed this command, what it will do? It will remove the, it will remove the table space. Table space means IBD file, IBD file. Okay, let me go, go to the demo again. Yeah, um, alter table here, discard table space. Okay, I just executed this query, uh, alter table here, discard table space. Now I'm checking the data directory. If I check the data directory, my help.ibd help file is now removed. Okay, after executing this command. See here, uh, previously I had this help.ibd file under the MySQL data directory. But after executing this alter table help, discard table space, my uh, help.ibd file is now removed. Okay, now the second alter statement is import the table space import the table space. But MySQL did not know uh, the location of the backup directory, right? Uh, MySQL, uh, once you executed this command, MySQL will go and search the file in the MySQL directory itself, okay? So <clears throat> before executing this command, what you need to do, cp-r, I'm just copying the herp.ibd file from the backup location, temp backup, plus one. Here we have two files, one is CFG and IBD. Now I am copying two files here, both the files, CFG and IBD to the data directory. Okay, now this is my data directory where with MySQL, uh, inside, I am inside the plus one directory. I just copied this two files, help.cfj and help.ib. If you check this uh, ownership is now it is root. Okay, so I need to change it to MySQL. MySQL. Um, help. Now I am checking the, uh, yeah, I changed the ownership. Now, now we have the help.ibd. Uh, we copied the table space and the CFG file from the backup to MySQL data directory. Now we can import the table space. I'm just importing the table space now. Yeah, it is uh, worked. Okay, now I'm checking the records. See, my records are this full. Okay, now uh, I have all the records. So this is the way you can do the restore. Okay, the, there are uh, simple steps. Let me write it here. The first one is you need to need to prepare the backup using export option. Export option. Uh, once you've done it, uh, it will create the files which needed for the restoration, single table restoration, okay? Then need to perform alter discard to remove table space. Okay, then copy or move the table, the needed table one, uh, table dot IBD and dot CFG to MySQL data directory and 
inside the schema directly. Okay, uh, this is the next step. Then you need to do change ownership to MySQL. Then now you are good to import table space. Okay, so these are the simple steps. Okay, uh, you need to make sure which backup, uh, like for the production scenario, you need to make sure which backup uh, contains the needed data. Then you need to prepare that uh, prepare that backup using the export option. Then you need to remove what uh, system ta uh, your table space uh, IBD file using the alter table discard table space. Then you need to once you once your preparation is done, then you need to copy or move your <clears throat> uh table ibd and cfg file from <clears throat> my backup directory to mysql data directory uh then you need to check your ownership if it is not in the mysql then you need to change it to mysql uh after that you are good to go, go with the import table space command once you're done with that uh you can see that your records are restored okay now here again <clears throat> uh, uh let, let me tell you how it is going to work with this uh, without cfc file uh, i'm just going to perform the same delete command delete from here okay uh, and alter table discard table space i just discarded the table space okay uh, now i don't have it now i am going to this is for just I am uh, I'm I'm just into to wanted to explain how it is going to work without that CFG file. Now I am going to copy only the IBD file, not the CFG file. Okay, I did not copy the CFG file. Only I copied the IBD file. I just updated the permission. Now I am going to do import. See, it is imported, but you see one warning without the CFG file, it is showing one warning. I'm just checking the warning. What is the warning? Uh, you can read it in ODB, IO read error, no such file or directory error opening file, help plus one help dot CFG will attempt to import without schema verification. Okay. So here the in import happens, but it happens without the schema verification. If you uh, do query the table, you can still see the records. Okay, but you will get this warning uh, if you are if you are running uh, if you are importing without the CFG file. Still, you are able to import it, uh, but you will get this warning. Okay, uh, the import is happening without the uh, schema validation. So I would recommend to copy both the files, CFG file and the IPD file, then do this operation. Okay. Uh, so hopefully this will work. Uh, this will this video is helpful uh, to know how how you can restore the single table from the full backup. Uh, there are, as I told in my last video, there are a lot of uh, things with this with weapon extra backup tool. Uh, so going forward, I will release uh, the next part of the videos. Uh, if you have some suggestions, uh, uh, I mean, if you need something earlier, uh, some specific topics, just let me know or just do the command uh, uh, or directly reach me about it. Um, <clears throat> I will try to make the video of that. Okay. So if you like this video, just like it and share it to your friends. And if you did not subscribe my channel, just do subscribe. Thank you, guys.